is kind of no it don't kind of from afar do y'all think it matches my pjs what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's jordan um for all who are new hello stay a while and if you're returning nice to see you again we have a good video today it's about my hoodie collection so if you want to see some cool hoodie brands stay tuned and i will show you guys my hoodie collection where are we going why did i do this also you guys i will have every link that i can link down below and if i don't have a link next to it i'll just say like i got it here you know what i mean oh where'd it go oh right in front of me y'all see that i have like you know my little edges done or whatever i have makeup on so i'm going to show you guys how i put on a hoodie without messing up my hair and without messing up my face i'm gonna show you what to do okay so i do my hair i do my makeup i get a bonnet i get a bonnet hold on okay so i get the bonnet honestly like if i have braids or something like that or even a wig okay i will put this on top just like that so i just cover all the parts of my hair that i don't want to get messed up okay so then i get my hoodie and then get the actual hood y'all see me i get it ready okay like this if I have a ponytail, depending on where the ponytail is at, I put the ponytail through first, okay? Since my ponytail's in the back, I'm gonna put the back of my head in first, okay? And you see? Here's my ponytail. You see? It ain't touched my face yet. You see? I pull it. And didn't touch a thing on my face. And my hair is intact. We will start with the first one that I have on right now, okay? This is a white hoodie that I got in San Diego at this, I'm going to call, well, I was going to call it an interactive museum, but I really don't know what it was. It was Brianna's idea, okay? So it has a little logo right here, it has the Wonder Spaces print right on the side of the what's this sleeve i love it because i've been needing a white hoodie for the longest so i finally got it last year last summer so mm -hmm. next case okay so in the interest of out of state hoodies like this one let me show you has this been bothering y'all because i just noticed i'm sorry <laughs> that bothers me Usually, like, I don't care, but look at that. There, that's better. If it's, like, a little bit off, I don't care, but I can't have one up here. and one. That's weird. My bad, y'all. Okay, so in the interest of out-of-state hoodies, here is the next one that I got in San Antonio. I got this on a trip to Texas to visit my friend for her graduation. Hi, Candice. You guys want me to try this on? Okay. Oh, let me show you guys how I take off my hoodies and still try not to mess up my face and my hair. Take the glasses off because they have been through enough. Okay. I take it off. I put everything like right behind my neck and then I put my hands like literally in front of my face so that the hoodie doesn't touch my face and I just sh like this. You see my arms? Just like that. This one is a small. All the rest of my hoodies are either a small or a medium. I got this from my school. No, I didn't get it from my school. Actually, I think I got this from textbook brokers. And if you go to UNC, you know what store I'm talking about. I got this from there. No, I didn't. I don't know why I just yelled. I'm sorry. Where did I get this from? I have no idea where I got this from. But it's textured, you guys. I love hoodies like this. 
This is the school that I went to for all my new subscribers, okay? I graduated in May of 2020, okay? She agreed. She agreed. That kind of hurt. She agreed, okay? But yeah, here's the next one. School gear is my thing. Like, literally any school with nice school colors and a cool design, I'm here for it. Next, since I am a Colorado native, we got the Denver Broncos hoodie. This might have been gifted, so where this was acquired, I have no idea. None. And then also, I'm saving the best hoodies for last, or my favorites for last, okay? If you was waiting to see some heat, just wait a little bit more, okay? Where's my bonnet? Do y'all care if I keep my bonnet on? <laughs> I'm tired of putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off. Y'all act like y'all ain't never seen nobody comfortable at home before. I'm gonna keep the bonnet on until the end of the video. So here's the Broncos hoodie. Standard, nothing on the back. All right, so the next hoodie I have is technically like a pullover. See, white and cream. I got this at Sam's. I'm pretty positive I got this at Sam's. Sam's Club. The place where they sell food in bulk, yes. Don't sleep on Sam's clothing section, okay? Don't sleep on them. Look, look how... What's this? Oh, a mask. Mm -hmm. You see this? You see how warm and toasty I am? What's this? <gasps> I have a hole! That's embarrassing. Can you see it? I've had this for a while though, so I think it did pretty well. And all I gotta do is stitch it up, okay? Cause your girl know how to sew. This is like a stick. This I will layer with a bunch of stuff. So if y'all wanna see like a hoodie lookbook, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know, cause I could do that. I can show y'all the outfits I've been putting together with my hoodies, okay? This one, I'm not gonna try on because this is like a beater hoodie. MSU Denver. Like I said, I love my college gear. I actually won this um, on a college trip to MSU. We did like a raffle or something like that. And my name never ever gets called for a raffle. And look what I got from the raffle. I was like, I was so excited. I don't know what size this is. Um, also, my little thing thing came out. I don't know where I put it at because I really need to feed it back through because I don't like hoodies. I don't have this. Like, what's the point? If I want to scrunch it up and cover my face like this, I should be able to do that. And there's a stain on here somewhere. Y'all might have seen it, but I thought it was bigger than that. But that's black paint, y'all. I wore this hoodie to art class and was just painting along. And I, and I saw that I got paint. I said... Next hoodie, I got this at the mall. I got this years ago though, so I don't even know if that store is still there, number one and number two. I forget what it was called, what the store was called. But honestly, I feel like you could find these anywhere, okay? Literally anywhere. And oh my gosh, when I tell you guys, at first I saw everybody wearing these hoodies and I was like, girl, where y'all getting them from? And I finally went and got me one and I see why everybody loves them so much. Just, just... It's just so comfortable. It's, oh, not me having a hole in this one too. Come on now. <laughs> Y'all see why I need more hoodies? Okay, so I know I'm not tripping. All right, so now into my more recent hoodie purchases, number one. And by more recent, I mean like within the last two years. All of the hoodies that I'm about to show you next are all from black owned businesses, okay? Like I said, everything's linked down below. Now I have six hoodies left all right the first four i'm about to show you all you matter hoodies okay i have a problem and my problem involves um you uh, buying you matter hoodies all the time so um i haven't bought one in like at least a year i think i know it's been a minute so first of all let me show you guys yeah i know i have five of these but that's because I also have a sweatshirt. I have a bunch of sweatshirts too. So if you guys want a sweatshirt video, I can do that as well. 
but um these the, this is what comes with your you matter purchase okay one of these but this is the first one that i got <laughs> It's all black monochromatic the first time because he I think he's released this twice But this is the first one that I got so you see it says you matter and it's um, it's not like screen printed It's like stitched like this is Thread it's stitched on and Then oh you can tell I've, I wear this all the time the black is not that black But that's okay because your girl got some black dye so as soon as look at my black shirt next to my black hoodie yeah you could tell i'll be wearing this all the time yeah, at least it's not green okay on the left sleeve it says i feel weak and on the right sleeve it says but i know i'm strong i'll show you guys on the other hoodies because y'all can see it better but when i tell y'all this is my absolute favorite hoodie i wear it all the time and this one is a small i think no, it's a medium. I lied. Oh, I love this hoodie, you guys. First of all, it's thick. I love thick hoodies. It has like the little ties at the end. <laughs> I, can, I just love doing that. When you put it on, the words are right where your wrists are. So, love it. Love it. Quality and fashion okay this is my next one is brown and the words are in pink and this one i got a hole in this one oh period i <laughs> hey i patched it up but this one is a little bit different i forget what collection this was but like these are little nuggets this is a size medium i very rarely put, pull this up all right next you matter hoodie i have this one and this it's cream here's my white one next to my cream one see and this one was from the breast cancer awareness month you see it's like do you call this an embroidery because i don't know but yeah this is like smooth like this white part is smooth and this um pink part is like reminds me of a, a rug or a towel or something you know like that's how it feels but I know I'm strong. And y'all, this is the hoodie that I had on when I was cooking with grease. <laughs> it's not funny because when I tell you guys I was... Oh, I was not happy when I did that. But, child, everybody makes mistakes. I literally, like, took it off. Like, I stopped cooking at that moment. <laughs> I took off my hoodie. And I put it in the wash. <laughs> with some uh stain remover okay like that's how serious i was nothing on the back just simple in the front this on the side love it so the brown one was like thinner than the than the black one that i showed you this one feels like the first hoodie that i bought this one is like close you know See, same little tassels or what do you call these? Why did I say cool? Did I move upstate? What do you call these? Hoodie strings? I don't know. But yeah, I like the long hoodie strings with the knot at the end. They are elite. All right, let's see. And this is what the tag looks like on all of them. And this one's a small and it fits fine. It fits it fits the same way that the medium does the medium black one does and here's my final you matter hoodie it's yellow the words right here are in blue and i really got this because my um school colors are go uh, blue and gold so that's why i got it because i like my school colors and yellow is my favorite color too so i had to i had to it's not really like it's not super thick like the black hoodie but it's also like the strings are not like the other ones like these ones have little aglets on the end just like the brown one but they're longer you saw how short that brown hoodie was with the strings and this one's a medium so i don't know why this one like feels a little bit bigger also this one feels bigger because the brown hoodie is a medium but the sleeves are kind of short 
they're not like super short of course but they're not like very long either but yeah this is the medium see and i love the hood on this this one i wear this all the time y'all i know i said that about like three other hoodies but i'm telling you this one i wear non stop all right the next hoodie i got was from another black owned company it's called false ego okay i'll leave their instagram down below See, this is why i don't go on instagram as soon as i go on instagram and i click the search to search somebody what is this i see i get distracted i get distracted eco-friendly apparel Period. Sustainable development. Yeah, it's all on the... See, I'm talking for too much. Hold on. Anyways, they have a retail location in Denver. It's like off of 26 and Walnut. You'll love to see it. But I'll have everything linked down below, okay? This is their logo. And this is all like... This is... I almost said fabric. Thread. A part of everything. Look at the detail. Okay, look at the detail. And they have metal aglets instead of plastic. Which I think that's cool. This is a medium. And they have a little tag. Oh! Not I was supposed to hang dry this. I, I mess her up, but now I know moving forward. Where's my bonnet? Let's count how many times I say where's my bonnet in this video too, because I say that like at least two, three, two, three times a day, okay? And I didn't buy this online, so I don't know how the packaging comes. I bought it when um, when the owner came up to the school. I don't know how it comes when, when you order online. No idea. But this is what it looks like. I don't know what to call this. Peach? It's like peach. It's like a peach color but this hoodie is so thick okay and this is where the a part of everything is at on the side nothing on the back i also got a gre grease stain on this somewhere too you can't tell really until you like stare at it when i love a hoodie i will wear it all the time and as soon as i get like one stain on it i'm like i don't want to wear it <laughs> let me show y'all the very last hoodie <laughs> look at this color so this is from Yato, okay, Yato, Y-A-T-O, uh-uh, where's the other string, okay, this is also a black owned company, African owned company, okay, oh, this is the back, don't ask me what this is, because I don't know, I love this hoodie so much, you guys, this is also a really thick hoodie, oh, why have I never looked on the inside of my hoodies before, they all soft, that's crazy, wow, I'll link their Instagram down below as well and check out their link in in their Instagram bio. And let me show you guys what came in my package. Cause I or I did order this online. Where's my I almost said where's my bonnet, but I caught myself. Isn't it cute? Look, look at all those hoodies. <gasps> Not my hot sauce. That's embarrassing. Anyways, y'all know how like this, how it has that like screen printing or whatever, laser printing, screen printing, whatever, like it's smooth when you touch it, it's not like ridged. That's how, that's how the back is. That's what's on the back. But I also have some t-shirts from them too, so. Check them out, like they got good stuff. And this design, the Yato design right here is threaded. It's threaded, so it's ridged, you can see that. Hold on, let me... What's that? Oh, okay, it's a fuzzy. Girl's about to be like, come on now. See? Isn't it cute? I love this. So that's it, you guys. I ain't got no more hoodies for y'all. You better believe that I'm on the hunt. For some more hoodies because if it's one thing i love it's a good hoodie i love me a good hoodie okay that's it you guys 
thank you thank you so much for watching my videos thank you for liking my videos because i really do appreciate it when you guys give me a thumbs up it warms my heart um let me know what other videos you guys want to see don't forget to subscribe not me pointing like a news anchor i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye